What's up guys? Day for Y, D for Y, Day, call me whatever you want. I know there's not really a set pronunciation of my name. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on pan crop. Did anyone ask for it? No. But I'm really lonely and this is what I do to pass time. Back to the tutorial. Um, disclaimer, you might hear a ringing noise. Um, I don't know how to get rid of that. I've tried everything. I, I even sacrificed my cat to Satan. Didn't help. Weird, right? So, first of all, pan crop. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a screen pump. That's another name for it. Uh, so, yeah. Let me go ahead and bring in my project file right now. YouTube vids, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some berserk. We got, we got some funny pictures. You know what I'm saying, man? Why did I do it again? Why did I save it as? I don't remember what I saved it as. And this is where cutting comes in handy. Found it! Alright, what does this say? No, I don't care about that. What the... No, did I really not do that? Hold up. That's disgusting. Like, that one frame gets me, man. So... For the pan crop, what I usually do is I have three sections that I edit um, my videos. I have the first one where I get the syncing and the cinematics and everything. Shots first, cinematics second, and then I put the text on. Second render would be where I add the pan crop. Third would be real smart motion blur and... No, no, no. Effects and color correction. And then the fourth one's real smart motion blur. And maybe black bars, depending on how I feel. So pan crop. How do you do it? It's very, it's, it's stupid simple, guys. Like, stupid. So basically, what you want to do is you want, kind of want to scroll along this right here, right? Wherever you want to add a screen pop, usually you want to do it where shots being taken place, right? So let's say we want to add one right here, right? So we're going to press M. That sets a marker. That lets us know exactly where it's... Going. We'll actually put it right there. It's more on point. And then you want to go to where the next shot is, or where the next space is. You want to press an M again. Let's say we want to put another one right here, because it just sounds good with the song. Put one right here. And a good rule of thumb for this, unless you kind of want to get fancy, you want to do where the shots are, and where you change the clip. So if you go from the shot to the kill cam, you want to put one. When it shoots on the kill cam, you kind of want to put one. When you go to the cinematic, you kind of want to put one. So, oh shoot, what the heck? Sorry, I got all these girls texting me. <laughs> no, that's my friend. Tell me if I want to hang out. <laughs> so, shot right here, right? We're gonna put one where the cinematic changes, right here. Go along, put one right here. We'll put one right here too. Kind of, kind of, kind of a. The beat just kicks in real nice, you know. So, yeah, we'll put it right there. Um, yes, I'm doing another Dairy RC. I kind of want to do one with another style, just because I have no other clips, because nobody wants me to make their BO2 episode. And if they want me to make an episode, it's always, like, Modern Warfare 2, which I can't do cinematics for, sadly, because I kind of got banned on there. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> so, yeah. Whatever. So, what you're going to do now, you're going to go to this little thing over here. And you can kind of put this however you want. I'm, I'm weird. Usually I do it on a second screen. But since I can't do that right now for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it like right here, right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to press this thing right here. If it's not already pressed in, you're going to press it to where it bulges in like that. And then you're going to go to a point on the thing. You're going to move this up a bit. Oh, shoot. My bad. Hold up. Go back to default. Make sure both of these are clicked right there. Yeah. So then you're gonna go up with it, and then you're gonna go back. The sweet spot I found is two keyframes. That's the sweet spot. 
and boop. Wow, you can make it. I'll uh, make it a little bit bigger. All right. So now you're gonna copy paste this. So just click on the thing, drag it like this. Right click, press copy. Now go to the second. Go to your next point on the marker. Click paste. Drag it back over. There you go. And now for ones where they're a little bit closer together, you might want to do like this. So see how this? It's too big of a jump, I guess. Right? So you're going to just drag it in a bit. So it's a, le a little more subtle, but it's still there. Nonetheless. Go to the other one. Paste. Drag over. Go. Paste. Drag over. Go. <laughs> paste. Drag over. Paste. Drag over. And now for ones like this, where it's not really the shot, but it's kind of like a significant point. What the fuck? Oh shoot, I gotta do that today. That's actually really cool. Man, I would have forgot that. Alright, sorry, I gotta cancel some membership on RuneScape. So what you can do is go like this, because you don't want it to be as subtle. And then, boom. Hit it, hit, hit him with the side, right there, right? Go to the next one, base, go over, go, base, go over, go, base, go over. Now we're going to go back to this one, I kind of want to do that little angle thing again. It kind of breathes a little more life into it, you know? Alright, let's see how that looks, right there. And that's Bancrop. Super simple. You can get real fun with it. You can get real technical. Um, I might bring a cinematics tutorial on stuff like that sooner or later because uh, I make the cool cinnies. It's like I, I, don't, I actually don't know how to do cinematics at all. These are like very newbie cinematics. So yeah, um, this is kind of a preview of what's to come. Uh, new edit soon guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Outlaw records, two motherfucking tits. Rough ass niggas that are smoke a punk bitch. You muscled ass busters that are kitchen with your can. Stuck up hoes, you get your left ass rolled. Sleeping ain't